Hi viewers, it's Ket, and I'd like to welcome you to my 1 to 99 strength guide for Obby Mahler accounts. In this video, you'll be expected to see the efficient gear setups as well as alternatives for some players. I'll also be covering the quickest, most efficient places to train your Obby Mahler, and as well, I'll be providing some alternative methods for strength training if you want to conserve those HP levels. So let's dive right on in with the gear setups for Obby Mahlers. Before progressing any further with your own Obby Mahler training, I want to bring you some sort of options as far as what's going to work best for you with determining your own gear setup for maximizing DPS and efficiency while you train AFK at Crabs or another um, NPC. So this is my current loadout that I choose to use at Crabs training. Um, moving right in with the uh, head slot, we have a Ceridomin Halo. Um, this is the Castle Wars Halo obtained by completing uh, 75 tickets and then purchasing it through the guy there um, this pretty much is really good and one of the best in slot items for the head slots for obbies um, it is only inferior to the bear mask as the bear mask provides a little bit better defense bonuses in terms of crush and range defenses um, so you can get that by um, getting towards the tail end of the mountain daughter quest But just be sure not to complete that quest as it gives a thousand attack XP and 2,000 prayer XP um, So moving on to the cape slot we have the uh, skill cape T which rivals the obby cape as uh, in terms of bonuses um, Both these capes provide uh, defense bonuses, but not strength bonus um, But the skill cape T does provide plus four prayer bonus so if you're a little um, if you're geared toward like a prayer obby, like 13 prayer, uh, 31 prayer, or even 43, this might work out a little better than an obby cape. But if you do have it, um, please wear your fire cape as that is the best in slot item for obbies as it provides similar defense um, stats to the skill cape and the obby cape while providing a plus four strength bonus and a few extra attack bonuses, making um, the fire cape the best in slot for the uh, cape slot. And moving on to the necklace slot, we have an Amulet of Fury. Um, this is only inferior to the Amulet of Torture, which is um, a 75 HP requirement, and it also needs to be um, bought from the GE for a relatively high price at 16 mil. So if you can't afford the, uh, the price of the Amulet of Torture and do not have 75 HP, um, definitely look into using the Amulet of Fury. And if you cannot afford the Amulet of Fury, a glo uh, Glory Amulet will suffice as well. And moving on to the uh, weapon slot, we have the Slayer Staff, which is the coveted item for Obby training, as it is basically identical to an Adamant Scimitar in terms of stats and speed. So it's a four tick training weapon with the stats of an Adamant Scimitar. Um, it's relatively cheap, sitting around under 20K. Um, you need to obtain 55 Slayer in order to wield this. So that's typically the uh, the golden level for Obby Maulers. So this coupled with an Unholy Book provides you the maximum amount of DPS for an Obby Mauler when training. So um, if you do not have the Slayer Staff, you can always use a Ham Joint, which is actually a little bit quicker than the uh, Slayer Staff at a uh, attack speed of three, which is identical to the RPG. But as you can see, the RPG is a two-handed weapon, um, mitigating you the ability to use a unholy book in tandem with the weapon to provide a, a few extra accuracy bonuses. So make sure that you are purchasing your ham joint or even a swift blade, as um, these weapons are all uh, three-tick weapons for, um, for melee. So it's very, very, very important that you know that. And um, moving on to the body, we have the Varrock Armor 1, which comes from the Varrock Easy Achievement Diary. Um, this is just very simple to get. It's a little bit better in terms of bonuses for um, an obby than a, an iron plate. So as you can see, there's a few differences there. Um, either one will suffice, really. Um, nothing in the body slot will give you a strength bonus, so you're just trying to maximize your defensive bonuses. And moving on, we have one of the new items, the Fremnic Kilt which is uh, identical to the iron plate legs, except for the fact that it gives an extra plus one melee strength bonus. So as you can see, I have my iron plate legs here, 58, 59, it's really, really neat. Um, so these typically range from five to seven mil at the time of recording this video. This is probably the last piece of your gear that I would obtain as plus one strength bonus doesn't really depict a huge deal with, um, with um, generating your max hit. 
So definitely purchase this if you have the, if you have the money for it, but don't go all out on it basically. Um, and moving on, we have the regeneration bracelet, which is the best in slot for obbies to train with. Um, it's a little better than the combat bracelet and the myth gloves, even though myth gloves are great uh, completionist item. I typically use regen bracelet because of the twice uh, restoration with your health. Um, so that's really good whenever you're trying to AFK and it gives you plus one um, extra strength bonus compared to the combat bracelet and the myth gloves. And then the next item, or the next two items, I guess, are, are new contenders. These are the spiked manacles, which just came out in 2019 as a clear reward. These actually give plus four strength bonus to your avi, which makes a considerable difference because plus four strength bonus typically means an extra max hit. So you're gonna be training a little bit faster and these are very affordable, costing right about 1 million gold. So it's very cheap to pick up right now. Um, I believe whenever they came out first, um, initially they were like 25 mil or 30 mil and then they dwindled on down to one mil which I'm very happy about they're very accessible and the best um, footwear slot for uh, one defense peers and then moving on we have the best ring slot available the brimstone ring a couple of you might be familiar with the uh, the berserker ring and the tyrannical ring um, but these are basically just obsolete training rings as the brimstone fulfills the need for a tyrannical ring and a uh, Berserker ring in the same slot by giving um, all the bonuses of the uh, regular rings um, just all together. The only downside is you cannot Im imbue this ring. This is just a generic ring that you can purchase from the GE. It costs about 4 million gold compared to about 2 million gold for the Berserker ring. However, if you do not have this item, um, just definitely use um, a Berserker ring or a Tyrannical ring um, or just really nothing um, but definitely use this as it gives uh, attack bonuses and strength bonuses for your obby um, and a few other things to mention if you do not have the fremenic kilt you can always use the best uh, dragon hide chaps that you have for maintaining uh, defense bonuses um, which are a little better than the kilt anyways um, and if you do not have um, ranged on your obby you can always just use the standard iron plate legs um, if you do not have the manacles um, like so to provide the plus four melee strength you can always just use iron boots, but those are really the only uh, sort of alternatives that I can provide to you. Um, so definitely take all those options into consideration when choosing your gear loadout. So by now you have finally discovered your own gear loadout and you are ready to train your Obby Mahler account. So from one to about 60 strength, you're gonna be training at Sand Crabs here, located on the Zaya Island, which is the new territory for RuneScape. Um, this can be um, accessible from Port Serum, you just take a boat from Veos and you'll arrive here at Port Piscalorius and you'll run all the way south, southwest to the uh, to the sandy area down here. Basically, where, wherever you could find sand down here in the uh, southern part of the island, there are sand crabs. So that's one way to get here. Although there is a quicker way, you can um, definitely train up construction to I believe level 35 and then ask an estate agent to move your house to the Hosidius region. So that will be basically due north of the spot that I'm currently standing at. So you'll be teleporting here at your house portal and just walk outside and you'll be able to run south to get here very, very quickly. I always tell uh, people that that is the most efficient way to get here uh, towards sand crabs. So you're gonna be training here from one to 60. Um, generally these sand crabs are really AFK as you can stand in one spot and all the crabs can aggro you. You can stand in a two spot, a three crab spot, or even a four crab spot. But some of these locations get um, heavy with, uh, with traffic uh, in terms of other players. So sometimes it might be a little difficult to find a uh, spot or a world for you to train um, without another player um, trying to take your crabs. So definitely keep that in mind. But from one to 60, this is a pretty accessible place for you to train as um, these sand crabs are a little bit better than rock crabs, which are traditionally known throughout RuneScape to be one of the, uh, the lowest level NPCs to train on for low level accounts. Um, as sand crabs have 10 extra hit points than rock crabs and you don't have to move around every time to wake them up. You can just basically just stand in this area and there's a few other spots you can basically see other people at here. Um, there's two, three, and four spots basically. So it provides you a pretty good chance of AFKing. So just bring, um, always bring super attack po potions and super strength potions as it's way quicker to train, 
with um, potions for your stats than um, than just sitting there without them. And I train with monkfish. Um, this can be um, basically replaced with pizza or uh, potatoes with cheese or anything that you can really afford that you're comfortable with losing. Um, just use that. Upon completion of the Bone Voyage quest, which is a pivotal obby quest um, in terms of obtaining your slayer staff through the fossil method you're actually going to be unlocking the best training location for an obby which is right here on fossil island at these ammonite crabs now these ammonite crabs have a plethora of two crab spots and three crab spots which you can stand here for hours on end um, basically these crabs are the best to sit at because they have 100 hp and they have the same attack and defense bonuses as sand crabs and rock crab so they hit you the exact same while still having a bit more uh, beefier HP to kind of just sit here longer and more AFK to maximize your DPS so they're right here on this island so any part of the sandy island you're actually going to find a, a couple of these crabs at and there's just a few spots like I said so pick your favorite spot hop between the worlds to try to find your spot as these are uh, a little less competitive in, in trying to find a spot than sand crabs as um, they require the bone voyage quest to even go there so I really do recommend training your obby here if you want um, HP XP and if you just want to train a traditional mauler so now moving on to the alternative strength training methods for obby mauler accounts there are ways that you could train strength without training HP uh, as well at the same time and these methods have been recently discovered um, there are a few such as um, barbarian fishing which uh, can get strength XP and agility XP um, in tandem with your generic fishing XP. You can also do pyramid plunder, which um, basically by opening the sarcophagus in a pyramid plunder game, you get a little bit of uh, strength XP, but the best and more relevant strength training method uh, to date right now is pumping at the blast furnace, or you could do pest control, which I'm gonna show both of these methods here on screen right now. So to get to the blast furnace, you need to partially complete the uh, giant dwarf quest. And the quest log here, I'll show you where it's at. Uh, giant door, so I don't even have this um, fully done yet. And then so after you partially complete that and you just get to uh, Keldegram, then there is a mini game teleport which you have access to every 20 minutes, I believe. So you can just click the mini game and then um, blast furnace and then just teleport and you'll do like a home teleport animation here, but you'll end up right here. So then you just um, walk inside the door and you go down to the stairs, which is the blast furnace. And typically people come here for smithing, but if you go to world uh, 319, which is the popular pumping world, you'll actually see that the world is set up for uh, strength training. So people are already here and um, this, gets, this gets crashed quite often, but all you have to do is come around here and then click this little, uh, this pump thing. And you can see it's kind of hard to even attempt because there's a lot of players here right now. But you just make sure you just stand here and then one, one comes available, you click on it and you'll instantly just idle and just gain strength XP. This requires zero items, you don't need any money in the coffer. It's just a, uh, it's about 10 to 12K strength XP an hour if you do not get um, crashed. But typically a lot of people think it's real funny to come here and crash these pump worlds. And as you can see, it's, it's pretty much crashed now or it has no coke in the um, in the little uh, bin here. But basically you need somebody to operate the, the coke bin and you need to have somebody on the pumps and sort of set this world up to where it can idle these accounts. Now the last alternative strength training method I'm going to be showing you is pest control, which basically is done by repairing uh, barricades in the pest control minigame. Um, and then after the end of that, you will be rewarded XP from the knights for your efforts. So you basically just have to cut down trees and repair the barricades when your activity bar is lower. Now this is very, very difficult and is not AFK whatsoever as obbies cannot really do damage to the uh, NPCs here as they have a bit high defense with our one attack it makes it kind of hard to attack these enemies so you're gonna have to just uh, wear your Kandoran headgear to obtain multiple logs and try to just 
maintain your activity bar as much as possible and then you'll just be uh, on your way. And now I want to take this time to personally thank each and every one of you for sticking it out towards the closing of this video. I really just wanted to go in depth more with this video in describing the gear setups that obbies have, the quickest, most efficient places to train, and the alternative strength training methods that obbies now have in 2020. So hopefully you guys learned something and can use it towards your obby mauler builds. I really just wanted to help the obby community in general with this. And another thing, I want to leave a huge shout out to obby elite CC. These guys have been supporting me since day one, and we've built up a nice close-knit family with these guys but we're all warm and welcome to new obbies from intermediate levels to no vice to to maxed obbies so just drop a like comment subscribe and definitely join obby elite cc in game and i'll see you next time in my next video guys peace